So we come up posting and you still got to keep a little position left because they're not a cure-all, you know? Posting, posting, posting. Yeah. Relax the left ankle. Good, come on, ride, fix things. Right, if he's looking right, put his head straight. If he's got it above the bit, ask him to give. We're all constantly communicating to our horse. Even when they're perfect, we're still communicating. So let's go into our little light seat. If you can get it together between the gate and the green mounting block, you're gonna ask him to canter. You need to shorten your left reins. Come on, just keep the rhythm when you shorten the reins and swing into the canter. Good. Elbows forward and back. Look up. That's all right. Post. 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 Go back into your light seat and ask him again. Don't care if he gets all fumbly. Always go back to the trot to come back into the canter. Good. Elbows forward and back. Come on. Move. One hand. Yes. <laughs> One hand on either side. Open the left rein and post. 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 Come on. Post. Good. There's your trot. And then one more time. So you got to keep the left rein a little bit open. It doesn't do anything stuck on his wither. So, and canter. Swing into the inside stirrup. Good, go, go. Good. Elbows forward and back. Look up and out. Just go with the horse. Come on, go. Move, move. That's okay. And post. It's all right. You fixed it. It's okay. Don't pull. Posting, posting, posting. And let's go ahead and let him stretch. So the canter is 10 times better. Come on, stretch. Good, come on. Right, come on, posting. You're all right, good. You've got a horse that has huge gates. So you're gonna have to learn to ride them. <laughs> good, but look at this pretty trot. All right, good, nice. And then we'll just go ahead and sit and walk. You know, and he's got a lot of stiffnesses he's got to work through, but the canter was way better in the draw reins because you could keep him connected. Yeah. And it doesn't matter that he disunites or goes lateral. Just trot and then go back to the canter again. Don't force him to canter on and on and on and on because then you're going to be building probably a terrible canter. Yeah. So you, we build in small increments. We get a little bit of good, all right? And then we add to it. Then we have a lot of good. <laughs>